Oh, would you look at that. Someone's got a sad little boat right now, I'll tell you that much. Here at the Manitowoc Marina today with Charlie Barons, with his camera guy Dante, Silent Jay here. We're about to go hit the marina, see what we can find. Hey folks, <laughs> I'm for it. It's gonna be good. I was on the Cripes cast not too long ago. Thanks for letting me be on your Thanks show. Thanks for being on the Cripes cast. You really got me uh, intrigued. I want to get a lot of fishing lures today. My, my tackle box is a little low. I'm guilty of snagging a lot at the bottom of the drinks. It's time for my lure reconciliation. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm glad you're wearing your own wetsuit because I don't have to worry about you peeing in mine. Oh, I'm for so sure cool. peeing in it. That's just climate control. Helps warm me up. It's God's climate control. When it's cold outside, that's why you put pee in. It ain't cool unless you pee your pants. No. Can we do it? We gotta wait till we get in the water. <laughs> you don't do snorkel at all. What? What's a snorkel? Do you want a metal detector at all? Metal detector? Yeah, I'll turn it on. Don't do the smaller one. Do you take one out typically? Not always. Only when I'm looking for rings and stuff. Yeah? Yeah, so I'll do that. Test it out. I'll start vibrating on something. Vibrate? Yeah, That's vibrate. great. Oh. <laughs> That's the piercing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a... Seagull mating. <laughs> so that's a little off. There's only about 3,000 in there. 3,000. Uh, that'll okay. last us an hour. I don't know if I'll be in there that long. We'll try. Good deal. And then this works. Yeah. This is nice when it's like uh, 32, 32 degrees out, snow on the ground, and you're getting all this gear on when you go hop in the water. Yeah, you are a crazy bastard. <laughs> Am I screwing it up here? Um, Am I in the middle? I feel like I'm in the middle. You're just such a big guy. Ah! The muscles are huge. I know. Thanks for inflating the old ego. Thanks for pumping my tires, Ed. I'll try my best. You want to check this first? Make sure you keep oh, yeah. your hair in your BC. There you go. Should we do it? Let's do it. You need your fins? Oh, uh, yeah, I did leave my fins on the pants. What's really special today, I'm in Manitowoc, and I got my neighbor's dad here. My neighbor is Colin, and this is a dad from Mike. What's going on? And he actually did a bunch of recon for us and uh, got us to come down here. So uh, thank you very much for the help. Hopefully you find some good stuff down there. Hopefully. So we're going to bring this and carry this down. You want to carry one end? Yeah. Oh, got her. Okay, she's going to get slippery down there just to warn you. You don't want to fall under chookies. No, I got gotcha. you. All right, you can set your end down. Visibility is about three feet, so that's cool. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. There's a flashlight here if you need one. I'm not get my fins on here. I can see your fin on there, so that's good. There you go. That's a nice clarity. Yeah? Oh, the first one. <laughs> Drops off there? Oh, the first one to pee. <laughs> <laughs> a little chilly right around the face. Well, at least you waited until you got in the water, like Charlie. You gotta do what you gotta do, Ed. I'm trying to get Ryan certified because I would like to take him out too. That'd be great. It's pretty stirred up over here already. Might have to come off the side. You can't see. I'll get it though. Where did they go? Did they go like over here? Okay, I see him. Where's Charlie at? Oh, he's out there somewhere. There's like a buoy on it. Can't get it up though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really trust. You find anything yet? Did you find something? Hey, Ed. Can you see a thing under there? Yeah, you just gotta not stir it up. You gotta go where nobody's been yet. Okay. What'd you get? You got a, a rod holder there. Nice. Okay, so just don't stir it up. Yeah. Usually where somebody's been, you're not gonna see for a couple minutes. Okay. Go like over by the dock, maybe? Yeah, start going around there, maybe. Okay. I'll come with you. I'll stay out of your way. Okay. It's funny, dude, getting used to breathing underwater again. All right, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got a stamp. Where is he going? He's just going. We're trying to get him to come back over here. There's more stuff over here. Visibility is about three feet, so that's cool. There's going to be more stuff over here. I thought I was going closer to you. No. 
<laughs> I was trying to chase you. I'm gonna come follow you. I saw your foot, but that's it. You were cruising. All right, where do you think I should? If you go on that side, I'll go on this side. And we'll see what we find. I want to watch you to see how you don't stir up the bottom for a second. Okay, I'll try. It's already stirred up. Hey Jason, where are you? So yeah, he's going ahead, stirring everything up, but he can't see anything. I don't know. That's it. I'm not as good at this as Ed. It's something though. Where are they? Are they right below me? Oh, they are? That's all stirred up over there too. I can see a little bit. Is that me that stirred it up? Did you go over here? No, I was over on this side. Yeah. Okay, I'll find the doodad. He's got metal detectors, <laughs> line cutters, flashlights. So if you just fill it full of air, you just relax. Fill up with air. This is my exercise for the week. I've been sitting at home editing all the time. I honestly thought there'd be more stuff. There usually is. Oh, it's like fishing, dude. You never know until you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then you bring me out and I stir up the whole bottom. <laughs> and it happens. For your fins, we're gonna start here and go that way. Okay. And then there'll probably be stuff underneath this crane. I got a flashlight now, so we're cooking with gas. Well, now we can see nothing but better. It's clear against the wall, but then underneath it's like a film of stirred up. I wanted you to go on the, on the wall, but you can't see. If we move down a little bit more. All right, don't touch bottom. Try your best. Okay, sounds good. I think I got it now. Let the wall guide you. sticks down there with a bunch of zebra mussels on them. I'm trying to stay next to him, but I, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I think maybe he's getting uh, thrown off. Maybe he's just enjoying the lone time. Probably. It's one of the reasons I like doing it, but I'm trying to stay out of his way so he can see, because no matter what you do, if you move your hands a little bit or your feet, it'll start stirring stuff up. Maybe he's thinking about never doing this again. I don't know. <laughs> can you see anything at all? I can't. Is it the body of water or is it me stirring? You know, I think it's the body of water. Yeah. I don't think we're going to find any fishing lures. I don't think so. <laughs> That's all right. I do have some lures for you though. We can head back over there. Do you feel warm in your suit? No, I'm good. Are you? Oh yeah. I didn't even have to pee yet. Yeah, it's just... There you go. All right. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I got a daughter. She's almost 18. Oh my God. She got more tattoos and she got a lot of tattoos. Against my will, of course. Well, you're not a great example there, Ed. I only got like two tattoos, but after I was 18, if you go this way, once you hit the ramp, you'll find the edge of the concrete and then just follow that over. Then there'll be like uh, the edge of it with the rocks. Once you find that, you'll, you should find some stuff along there. You might have to feel around too. Give it the feelers. Sounds good. Just waiting for a big sturgeon. Did you see all those little tiny minnows over there? Little fish? Yeah. They're kind of cool. They look like little shrimp or something. I know. Yeah, I didn't see anything, did you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, would you look at that. Someone's got a sad little boat right now, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's worth its weight. It's ransom. Transom. <laughs> you gotta pay the transom. I've got your scuba gear. I won't give it back till you pay the transom. Well, that's nice. Oh, you found something. You know, you can't win them all. Oh, at least there's a. I can find it again. Found two. At least you still get a prize when you're done. That's cool. That is nice. What do you think? I think there's gonna be a better day to scuba dive. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do it. Yeah. Most of the time when we're diving, you can see three feet on average. Yeah. And you see a big old sturgeon just come past your face. In our marina in Menominee, you can see, you know, 10 to 15 feet. Well, maybe I come up there by you, you know. You gotta come check on my museum, my house. I know. Well, should we call her or we keep... Can, I'll come around there with this if you want to look around here some more. Yeah, I'll look under these docks. Uh-oh, Charlie. What is it? A Samsung. 
You missed it. Come on. How'd you get that? How'd you get that? It was on the edge. Remember, like I told you, on the edge of the ramp down there? We're just down there digging? No, it was just on the edge. Oh, Under Armour case. We might be able to find the owner. I don't know. Hey, did you miss a call? Your man's walk. There's a phone. <laughs> It has a cool feeling when your whole body is just surrounded by water and you're breathing under under there and it's peaceful. You get anything? Nah. No. You? I got a bungee strap and a pole. Oh, look at that sucker. Oh. All right. Oh, God. A lot of zebra mussels on that sucker. Yeah. We got some stuff. Clean up the trash here. Yeah. You can put that in your truck and bring it to the show tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Auction it off. <laughs> Just got out of the marina here. Um, Charlie Barron's Silent J. We've got a couple things today. What you got there? This here appears to be a tire, and I, I have a feeling that this was at one point used as a uh, a prevention mechanism from a boat hitting the dock. I think so. Or a uh, decoration for uh, somebody's really big Christmas tree. Uh, now the zebra mussels have taken it over. Yeah, they don't look like zebras. Mini clams. Yeah. I actually uh, found this right next to Charlie. I wish he would have found it, but uh, he's pretty close by. Uh, Samsung, the Under Armour case on it. That was like a diss, a low key diss. Charlie should have found it, but didn't. Yeah. I'll take it. I was it. hoping he would have found it. <laughs> Got this strap here with some zebra muscles on it. What'd you get, Jay? I got one trailer zebra. Charlie got this. This trailer zebra. We bought it. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, giving me credit for that. It's a trolling plate. Oh, a trolling uh, plate. Yeah. The trolling plate. Oh yeah. Oh, I found this rod. This rod holder down there too. Oh, that's a nice one. Is it cracked off? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. They come up to the dock. They like they hit the dock and just snap. Dude, and the one lure. Oh, hang on. Winter's coming. This will be good to mark off the driveway. There you go. For dying with this today, we got a participation trophy. Thank you. Yeah, you know. I'm not saying you sucked or anything. Well, <laughs> you kind of have twice now. And uh, that's okay. Look at that, folks. I got a koozie to keep my beer as cold as my hands right now. Keep her moving. Keep her moving. Thank it's you very much, stuff, man. This is a lot of fun. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah, man. that was a lot of fun, though. We'll have to do it again with the uh, visibility. So, yeah. Better vis, better light. We could see maybe, maybe two feet before you start it up, but then once somebody started up, like me or one of these guys, it was me. <laughs> I kicked up the bottom for everyone. I'm not good at the neutral buoyancy. I gotta work on that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. There's a quarry around here. There's, there's places up, up by me. I'm trying to get Charlie up north. So. Oh yeah, no, this is take one of many. I had a lot of fun though. You know, I didn't drown, so you gotta look on the bright side. I was waiting for those bubbles to stop. I was ready, getting ready to come save you. I appreciate you. I was being ready to dive in. Yeah, Dante is sure would have dove in for you too. He would have asked you if you could do it first. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, good stuff. You guys want to go for a swing? Yeah. I might be able to get this working again with the owner. Yeah, you think you can get that one working again? Yeah. Fire it on, how do you find the first Some of them have like the SIM cards, iPhones do. Uh, there's a little passcode on it. You call the uh, last person or you find mom or dad or wife or whatever. Also, when you go to shut them down, sometimes they have emergency, like a medical ID. If I can't get into it, I'll just post a picture of the picture on the phone and post Where it on the phone. Yeah. And then people get back to me. Go so, scroll through their photos. Go too far right, <laughs> you know him way too well then. No, I don't do that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna give him some kind of privacy. Yeah, a little privacy. That's a die roll, but I wouldn't do that either. I don't even know how to turn it on, so. You guys, your secrets are safe with me. I know, I know what you're capable of. Well, yeah, how, how did my diving ring? Pretty, did you good. Uh, <laughs> you did pretty good. Did you hear that? Pretty, did, <laughs> something. Pretty, good. pretty, okay. We didn't die when we were safe. It's gotta count for something. All right. All right, man. Thank you very much. Good job, Jay. Appreciate you. I can't feel my fingers right now. All right, just got this turned on, charged a little bit, and we're gonna see firsthand whose phone it is here. Try to get it back. Oh, oh, detected moisture. I unplugged it, it's unplugged. 
shake up the moisture, then wait for it to dry. It takes several hours. Just got into it. Tried it out as best as we could, though. Well, I found your uh, your phone, your Galaxy S9. Okay, <laughs> that is like the weirdest thing in the world. Why is that? Because I dropped it in the lake. <laughs> I found it in the uh, Manitowoc Marina. Okay, yep, that's where I dropped it. We were there, uh, I was there with Charlie Barron's, my buddy Silent J. We were, we were doing a video shoot out there and a little dive before a show. Oh my God, that is like super funny. I thought for sure that thing was gone. I had to take it apart a little bit to get uh, the water out. I had it drying out in desk kit and packets, like a lot of them for four days, but okay. then I still had to get, open up the back to get more water out of it. I blow dried it a bunch, and then I got it to charge a little bit. So, but it said, it's still saying that there's water in the port a little bit. It says you can charge it wirelessly, but I was able to get in there, okay. look at that, look up your the settings for your name. I didn't look at anything else. Yeah. I didn't look at pictures or anything like that. There's nothing bad out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. That is just really unreal to me. I, would, I thought that thing was just long gone. That's awesome. Well, that's really cool. Well, I, oh my God, this, was, this made my day. So. When did you lose it? Probably two months ago, maybe? Two six months. Weeks ago. Six weeks ago. So we were getting off our boat. I put it in my front pocket on my sweatshirt. When I got my one leg on the pier, I uh, watched it go right between the boat and the, and the pier. Well, so, whatever. <laughs> I'm glad I can get it back to you. Can I get your address? So where are you located? Marinette, Wisconsin. Oh, so okay. I, I know where that is quite well. Oh. Well, that's really cool. I really appreciate that. That is like, <laughs> that is just, it, it amazes me. So I really appreciate it. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like still just kind of shocked. So <laughs> it's just, I think it's kind of funny. Like I said, I figured it was long gone and nobody will ever find it and the fish will eat it. I don't know. <laughs> I know when it fell in the water, I mean, it was, I think my husband said it was like nine or ten feet, and trust me, I sat there and looked at him, and I'm thinking, should I dive in and go get it? Uh -huh. it was